As we gear up for spring, it's time to give our bathrooms a much-needed makeover. HGTV star and renovation expert Scott McGilvery is here to guide us through the process with tips on how bath fitter can help you achieve a beautiful, mess-free renovation in no time. Scott, how are you this morning? Thank you for being with us. I'm great, James. I'm happy to be with you. So, Scott, what tips do you have for people who want to spruce up their bathrooms without the hassle? Well, great question, and I'm going to give away all the trade secrets today. Uh, you know, after over 500 renovations and 20 years of doing HGTV shows, uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is don't believe everything you see on television, right? <laughs> takes uh, <laughs> Sometimes takes longer than a commercial break to renovate an entire bathroom. But, hey, listen, it doesn't necessarily have to take a month either. So with bathroom renovations being at the top of a lot of people's lists on what they want to renovate this year, I thought I'd share some of my tips and tricks to do it well and to do it affordably in a short period of time if you can believe all that can happen. So typically, I like to help people focus on the tub and shower surround as the starting point. That's the nucleus of your bathroom. You really have to get that right because everything else is going to depend on it. That's your long-term investment. And Bath Fitter offers tons of great solutions for a tub over tub system, which can be installed in a day. It's cost effective. There's no demo involved. So that's the first layer of removing stress out of the entire process, right? Help people take back the bath and then the rest falls together quite easily. Now, how does Bath Fitter make the renovation process quick and less anxiety inducing? Yeah, well, that really comes down to the fact that they have specialists who come in and they do the assessment first, right? We need to make sure that, you know, there's no repair or maintenance required. You need a clean workspace um, and everything needs to be measured because it is a custom fit process. It's the installation that really takes the headache away. It can be done in a day so that you don't get you know, locked out of your bathroom for weeks or even days. It's just one day. No demolition means no mess. I think that's where a lot of homeowners get nervous is the mess that comes with the renovation. And, you know, the added bonus of, you know, nothing else going in the landfill, um, you know, it's resources. Uh, so you put, uh, put that all together, and it really is the stress-free way to get a bathroom remodel. Now, Scott, in your experience, what are some innovative trends or design elements that homeowners should consider incorporating in their bathroom innovations this year? Great question. And I think there's a couple of things to consider when taking on a bathroom renovation if you want to add value to your home. So think about it. Putting money into your bathroom, you're getting that money back out of the home and then some later if you do it right. So it's an investment. The other thing is, you know, are you improving your quality of life with this renovation, right? What's the return on lifestyle, right? Is it going to fit your design theme? Is it it's where you start your day for most people? So you want it to be inspiring. Um, and the shower and tub surround is a, is a big investment. You want that to be anchoring the rest of the renovation. So choosing something that's timeless, something that's going to appeal to 90% of the population, 90% of the time, right? While still taking into consideration your design theme. Maybe you want something Scandinavian and simple, or maybe you want something more contemporary. You definitely have to pick something that's on brand for your home. And then from there, you can go wild. You can do crazy paint colors if you want. You can do wallpaper. You can do the things that um, can be changed later without taking on expensive work. It's really, you know, the vanity, the flooring, and that bath fitter that are big investments um, that you want to last. You know, with coming with a lifetime warranty, it's not something that you need to replace later. Now, what are some common mistakes homeowners make when renovating their bathrooms, and how can they avoid them? You know what? If I can help anybody make a great decision and avoid a big mistake, it's the following. If your bathroom and your shower looks outdated or you got loose tiles, grout lines, uh, you think there might be mold or leaks somewhere, don't wait to renovate because the issues that happen in bathrooms with water and moisture get compounded when they're ignored. So take back your bathroom, 
get a realistic assessment on what it's going to take to renovate that space. You can. There are solutions that are available uh, that can do it quickly and affordably before those problems become real massive issues. Now, where can our viewers go for more information? Uh, well, you can go to bathfitter.com if you want to start planning out your design, or you can even go to a local showroom and you can check out their products, get a look and feel for them so that you can start planning that renovation sooner rather than later. So, Scott, last question. When you get home and you relax, how often does Sabrina say, hey, Scott, we need to do this and we need to do that? Don't think that I am immune to the honey-do list. I've got a big one. It, it never ends. It never ends. There's always something on the list. As soon as you finish one thing, there's always two more. That's, uh, you know, it's, I guess that's the, um, the luxury I have. I get to bring my, home, uh, my work home with me at all times. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, you have two daughters, too, so they got to say, hey, Dad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and that they do. They're like, Dad, you're renovating everyone else's house on TV. Uh, can we do a renovation on our rooms? So <laughs> it happens. It happens. I can imagine. Scott, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. We really appreciate it. And, and try and get some rest. I will try. Thank you so much. All right.